mein Dog is sick. Three or four days ago, I noticed that my dog had a little bit of pus on his eye, and it's not uncommon that they have some. Uh, so I just removed it, and then we went down to the sheep, gave them food, and then came up, and I saw he had a new one that was just as big, and it's, it's a clear sign of some kind of eye inflammation. And the day after, he became red in his eye, so it's clearly irritated and so I started to treat him with uh, salt water and then removing it, um, the pus and he's not that irritated anymore but he's still clearly um, having something in his eye and therefore I am uh, a little bit scared of what is happening I don't think it's very, very dangerous, but as I have a sheepdog that I'm training for becoming a sheepdog, a proper herder, and doing my best, and we've spent so many hours on training him, I, I really, really want him to, yeah, to just be in top shape. And it doesn't really matter how many hours I put into him, I mean, you should take care of your animal anyway, so. So today we have to go to the vet to um, to see what it is. And uh, one thing is that vets are expensive, but I'm just I really don't like the point just before you go to the vet because you are always thinking, what can it be? And especially with a border collie that is that I put a lot of energy in, and I really want him to. Fine. So I just hope that um, I just hope that he's fine. Really. Yeah. Well, I have to go to the vet now. So see you. So it wasn't anything serious, it's just an infection. <clears throat> so we got some antibiotics to treat it. And yeah, I'm glad, I mean, I needed the treatment to make him feel, to make him get better. So that's good, but why it, it's so expensive. So just for watching into his eyes, they, uh, I had to pay 120 euros, crazy. And then 100, 110 euros. And then for the medicine, I had to pay again 130 euros. Ridiculous. But all the, just the best is good enough for this guy. Mm. Leo. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now when it comes to <clears throat> medicine people are treating it a bit differently. I think people are some are just doing it on routine and some are very thorough in their reading of the instructions. Oh, God. And <clears throat> I have not used this one before, so therefore I like to, to read the things that we got from the uh, pharmacist. My wife, she's a pharmacist, so I have to, to treat it properly. And uh, basically, we use some salt water first to get uh, away all the pus, and then one drop of this. Uh, Pluramenificol, whatever that is, and, uh, and that's the antibiotic stuff. And that is four times a day, so I just have to start. 
you don't need to be a pharmacist to do for doing this but my wash she is so she made some salt water so you just eat, eat salt without it's called yod in Norwegian I don't know what it's called in English and then I just take this on his eye and then uh, afterwards I dry it up with the, this and then I use the antibiotics come here Tom <laughs> anything of that it is I normally I use a pipette but uh, they have some color within him and his eye when they did the uh, when they looked at him, the vet looked at him. Can, it's funny because you can, I don't know if you can see it, but I still see that there's some color left here. Some. I put it in a garbage bin here, and then we will we'll, uh, set it on fire afterwards just to make sure that we get sauce for the night. Then we'll not have my. Holy. There we go. Ah, bah, bah. Perfect. <laughs> A little bit big this old one. It's a good drop. And now we'll give him some food. Leo. Thank you. Any better? Come. 